46 kV line that runs through the Box Canyon, um, which is a real nearly no access type situation. Basically, it's, it's a, a canyon um, that's probably 2,000 feet in elevation from the roadway to the top of the mountains. Um, so there's no roads that go uh, up to the top from the base. So we would access as far as we could with um, ATVs, quads, side-by-sides, um, and then just hike, have to you know, hike the rest of the way. Uh, when we did the ones at the very top, uh, we were able to have the helicopter fly us in first, land, we could get off, and then they would bring the poles later. The 46 line goes to our Greaterville substation and then it keeps going on to the Fort Huachuca. You're dealing with a real remote area, uh, very limited cell phone signal, um, no access road. You know, we, we played it just like we would when we go out to the 345 lines in remote areas. We had, you know, satellite phones if needed, um, personal locator beacons, things of that nature. So we had uh, 17 poles to change out that we did 11 of them uh, with helicopter. We had uh, the helicopter fly in the poles. Uh, they opted to go with steel rather than wood, uh, just for the fire restrictions that uh, we don't always get to go in and, and protect our facilities. The hours we were working varied. Uh, some, some days it was a, like an eight to 10 hour day, but some days it just made better sense to stay up there, you know, 12, 14 hours. Your daily needs need to go with you wherever you're at. It's a challenge. Uh, it's, it's an added uh, different feats to it. Uh, when you don't have equipment, you're going to be doing it all off the pole. Uh, there was a lot of monsoon activity that would roll in before you could get off the mountain in time. Um, so I think any time a challenge is presented, um, we always step up and try to you know, overcome the adversities, um, be it access, no equipment, whatever it is. And, and in that, you can get a lot of uh, personal satisfaction out of doing a project that's you know, difficult to do.